My role is to really care for the families of this congregation and to care for the spiritual needs of the youth and their families. That piece of that is doing faith formation on Sunday mornings, you know, equipping teachers and other adults to do that, to help them actually have conversations at home like, why does God matter and why is my faith important and why do I take you to church on Sunday mornings or why is it that I expect you to go to confirmation and but really to have those conversations outside of this building as well. My faith means that I can go to someone who believes in me and my capabilities and helps me through rough times. Faith is built through friendship in our community here, um, with especially intergenerational. You start off with the young kids, and then um, you know you, the teenagers here would help teach the young kids, and then the older generation would teach the teenagers, and it just trickles down from there. I mean, that's really how I believe our faith is starting, is just going through the generations, building that relationship together and our faith together. Sophia came here for after school programs when she was in kindergarten. The family that has grown around this place is not just about this place, going on ski weekends and off to Rainbow Trail. You know, we get to take those memories and those important moments in our life with us out into the world. And I think being able to have a place that anchors you during the week is really important, especially to families where those anchors are harder to find. That next generation may not do everything logistically the way that we did, but let's let's make sure that they understand the spirit and the essence of, of what goes on here and pull that forward when our time here is, is done and then pass that on to, to, to that next generation. I see that here. It's very uplifting and it's very encouraging. Growing up in this church and everything, it, it helped mold me into the person I am and I wouldn't have done that if my parents hadn't put me and my brother in this situation. Um, I think that they never forced me to go to church, they never forced me to get up and you know get dressed and go to Sunday school and all that stuff. It not being forced upon me made me want to go even more. As a kid, your tendencies are to rebel against your parents and so I'm like, well they're not forcing me to go so I, <laughs> you know, I guess I kind of have to go. <laughs> I do look forward to Sundays, but there's also those days when I just want to lay in bed and sleep all day. <laughs> Augustana is a place to learn and worship God. You get happiness and comfort out of it. You don't really get money or prizes, you just kind of get that good, happy feeling inside that you're doing something to change the community. I still learn something every week going through these lessons. I mean, it's not like it's not like math where you learn algebra and it's like, okay, I got algebra, right? There's just new components, and I don't know if it's just our lives and the examples in our lives in the moment that we're teaching it. Um, certainly, the answers that we get from the kids changes every year, and uh, and so that tends to take us down different roads. Uh, for the conversation. We think it's easy to say that children are our future, right? And I think the reality is that they're not just a novel piece of worship or faith formation, that they actually have a part of the body of Christ. And so yeah, the stories that they tell and the experiences that they have are just as important as the adult because God is working through them and the Spirit is living and active. And so we have to have all ages together, right? We have to have those stories that are crossing the boundaries and the lines. And so I think that piece about children being in worship or youth or young adults, we celebrate that they're part of us, right? And we celebrate that they also are can continue leading after we're gone, but we also celebrate that right here and right now, you know, God is using them and they are a piece of the story and they are receiving that promise. The Holy Spirit will um, lift up God and make it better to um, get everything good, everything is good, and make everything is a better place to be more peaceful. Yeah, Augustana is kind of like a home away from home for me, and I just, there's, I know almost everybody here, and I can just go up to them and start a conversation, like, there's just some friends, and yeah, it's, it's been really easy with just something I can fall back on when maybe like school isn't going well, or I'm in a fight with somebody, it's just really easy to come back here and just have a good time. At Augustana, I've 
learned how to uh, develop my leadership skills. Um, and so once I learned how to do something, um, I learned how to teach it to other kids as well. You know, being one of the Acolyte mentors um, and teaching the new youth who are coming in to be an Acolyte or a Crucifer, teaching them how to do that job correctly and reverently, teaching and leading, that's really how I've figured out my spot within the church. I looked to Noah um, when I did Acolyte the first time definitely because he was there the first time I did it and I asked him all my questions about it and he just knew everything like he could tell me everything about it so it was really helpful having someone who's really knew what was going on. As a parent you feel responsible for the, the nurturing of, of, of the faith and the relationship with God in your, in your children's life. A lot of things with your kids it's almost like information overload from you. I gotta hear from you from about this. I gotta hear from you about that. No, I can't. I can't deal with the, the face stuff. They can come here. Somebody else will present it, and then they're receptive to it. We've all been part of various committees and various activities, and that's how you get to know the friends and relatives and connections. In many ways, it was it was making me whole. I had cancer treatment shortly after we'd moved here. It was the Augustana family that came and brought me food, that came and babysat my children while I was sick, that prayed for me. Many of these are people that I didn't know, um, but that either knew my in-laws or knew David from when he was young. And the outreach was just incredible, um, how much support I felt and that our family felt in those really trying times. There's somebody who always cares, you know, whether it's you know, their pastor or your youth minister or Cindy in the music department, even just somebody that you're sitting next to in church, you know, somebody's always there to kind of help you and guide you and care for you even when you're not expecting it. You're making your way through the, you know, the, the, the stages of life and, you know, let us, let us come alongside you and, and, and help you here and help you there. Just encouraging people to be open and honest about their stories of faith and to realize that none of us know it all and that that's why we share it together. 